and with his grandmother and his aunt. He is the first South African VC of this war. In the summer of 1939, the American submarine Squalus sank off New England. The rescue work made world news, and now she's in the news again. President Roosevelt himself has told the story. Some of the crew were lost, but others were saved by the speed and the efficiency of the surface rescue crew. The Squalus itself was tediously raised from the bottom of the sea. She was repaired, put back into commission, and eventually she sailed again under a new name, the United States ship Sailfish. Today, she is a potent and effective unit of our submarine fleet in the Southwest Pacific. The Sailfish has covered many thousands of miles in operations in those far waters, she has sunk a Japanese destroyer. She has torpedoed a Japanese cruiser. She has made torpedo hits, two of them, on a Japanese aircraft carrier. Three of the enlisted men of our Navy who went down with the Squalus in 1939 and were rescued are today serving on the same ship, the United States ship Sailfish, in this war. It seems to me that it's heartening to know that the Squalus, once given up as lost, rose from the depths to fight for our country in time of peril. 